Hi and welcome to Need AI. In this video we look at the second part of the evolution of pilots who are able to survive and thrive in the game of asteroids. In the last video I coded up the game, created the world, added asteroids in the ship and figured out the best inputs for the neural net. The neural net employed was a standard three layer feed forward net coupled to a genetic algorithm and once trained it did a pretty good job blasting the rocks. So please see the last video if you're interested in the details of how all that works. So what's different this time? Well, this time I'm using a network that can evolve its own structure when it mutates during the creation of each generation, and this leads to a different types of solutions. There's a small chance that each time it mutates, a new node or connection will be added. The key here is starting with the smallest possible network and letting it evolve towards the most efficient solution by steering it with an appropriate fitness function. And it goes on to do very well. Hunter destroyer pilots typically emerge quite quickly, and every time, the end solution is the evolution of the mad machine gunner. This solution always emerges when using this type of network. Every time I run it, he pops up. But it never emerges when using a standard neural net with a predefined topology. So let's look at the first generation. There are 30 games all happening at the same time, but I can only show you one of them. I select one of the pilots that's still alive to display, and when he crashes, I move on to the next one, until the whole population has died. Displaying all of them would look like this, and that's clearly no use. Starting generation 2 now, we can see the ship 1 is doing very well. It's typical of hunter pilots that emerge during this process. If you're interested in how a new generation is produced, please see my Flappy Birds videos, which explain it in detail. I should point out as well that I have elitism switched on, which means that the best pilot from the previous generation gets cloned to ship 1 doesn't get mutated in any way. But its genes do mix with the other pilots if it's selected to be a parent. Let's fast forward a few generations. Generation 9, we're starting to see the impact of allowing the network to mutate its structure as new connections and nodes start to make their appearance. The process of speciation means that these mutations are given a few generations to fit in and see if they improve performance. The inputs to the network include the direction and distance to the nearest asteroid, the ship's bearing, and a bias entry, which is always set to 1. The outputs are steering, shooting, and thrust.
and that's the mad machine gunner in action. It can sit there for hours blasting away. Check out the network diagram on the right. A direct connection has been inserted between the direction to the asteroid and the steering output. Also, a direct connection between the distance indicator and the shoot button. I want to get these ships dogfighting, so maybe I'll do that next. That's it for now. Please do subscribe, and thanks for watching.